Hey everybody, what is up? Just fixing my camera, there we go. Hey everybody, what's up? Benji Pistone here, represent Canada. How are you today? And I hope you're having a great day today. So today, I want to share with you guys a video, and I want to do something a little bit different. What I want to do is I want to show you, show off a little bit of my CD collection. Now, I love hip hop, you know what I mean? A lot of you, a lot of my subscribers might know this, and a lot of you might know this as know this off the top. You know, I love hip hop. I love classic hip hop. I love old school hip hop. Hip hop from the 80s and hip hop from the 90s. Classic shit, you know what I mean? Okay? So what I want to show you today is I want to show you part of my CD collection and my favorite hip hop group of all time, my number one favorite hip hop group of all time, without a question, is the Wu Tang Clan. I love the Wu Tang Clan. I know that a lot of you are going to agree with me, and probably there's going to be some of you that's going to be disagreeing with me, but that's cool. I love the Wu Tang Clan. You know, like Wu Tang Forever, I love them. You know? So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you my Wu-Tang Clan CD collection that I that I have right now, okay? Now I don't have everything. I don't have all the Wu-Tang Clan stuff. I have most of it, but I don't have all of it. You know what I mean if that makes any sense. Okay? So I'm basically going to show you what I've got like all the solo shit and all the Wu-Tang stuff, all right? So let me start with this over here, okay? I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, okay? I did this video, I did this video yesterday, but I'm um, redoing it because it, the last video was way too long, okay? So I'm going to keep this short. So let's begin with my Wu-Tang Clan CD collection, and this is what I got, all right? This is my Wu-Tang collection. And here it is. Let's begin with Method Man, 420, The Day After, awesome album. I'm going to say awesome album, going to say sick album because of the fact that everything that the Wu-Tang Clan has ever put out during the year has all been awesome and I love pretty much everything that they've put out. Alright, we got here The RZA and uh, Bobby Digital, Digital Bullets. This is a crazy album as well. Got here Ghostface Killer. Ghostface Killer happens to be one of my favorite members of the Wu Tang Clan, and this is his uh, one of his solo albums that he put out a few years ago called the Big Doe Rehab. Great album. Okay, we got here Capadonna. Capadonna is like is not the one of the original members of the Wu Tang Clan when they first came out. He um he came into the group like when uh, when Wu Tang Clan released their second album Wu Tang Forever and became an official member of the group. And this here is his second solo album called The Yin to the Yang. Okay, and this this album is good. It's not too bad. He actually has another solo album called The Pillage, which um, I have on my computer. I don't have the CD. The Pillage, great album, but this one over here, not too bad. This album just came out, and another another favorite member of, um, of the Wu-Tang Clan, another one of my favorite members, hands down, Mr. Raekwon the Chef. And this is an album that he just recently put out, and it's called Raekwon Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang Clan. Crazy album. You gotta check this out. I love Raekwon. I think that Raekwon has got to be the most lyrical member of the Wu-Tang Clan. He is outstanding. I love him, and I love this album over here. We got here... Got here Method Man. This is his second solo album, and it's called 2000 to Cal 2000 Judgment Day. This is also a crazy album as well. You know, um, the only downside about this album is that it's really, really long. 
Uh, it has 28 songs, and honestly, when I first got this album, it took took me at least two days to listen to the whole thing. But other than that, it's a great album. You got here the Wu Tang Clan, and this is and this here is their third group album, and it's called the W's. This album is crazy with some awesome tracks like, you know, Gravel Pit and all those awesome songs on it. This is actually the first, the first Wu-Tang group album without ODB. You know, rest in peace, ODB, Russell Jones, you are sadly missed. I love the guy. But anyways, this was the first album... Without that they made without ODB because at the time he was still in jail. You know what I mean? So solid album. It's the Wu Tang Clan third album, the W's. They also came out with another album called Iron Flag, which also is a crazy album. I don't own the CD. It's on my computer. It's on my hard drive. This here, this is also. This is also in a crazy album as well, and this is the RZA, Bobby Digital. This is his first solo album. Crazy, crazy concept to this album, like a '70s crime movie, th crime movie theme, crime movie gangster theme. Crazy beats, crazy rhyming. You know, RZA man. RZA is like the mastermind of the Wu Tang Clan produces everything Wu-Tang Clan does. He's the mastermind. The man is a fucking genius. And this is his soul first solo album. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Alright? And we got here Ghostface Killer. And this album just recently came out, just last year. And it's called Apollo Kids. This album is solid. Uh, awesome, awesome album. Um, I was actually, when I first found out that this album was to be released, I was shocked because I never knew that he was going to come out with this album, but I got it, I, I got it the day it came out, and I wasn't disappointed. Ghostface does not disappoint, like I said, he's one of my favorite members. Alright, here... I, I love these two guys together, man. Method Man and Red Man. Red Man also another one of my favorite rappers. And this is Blackout 2. And this is the sequel to their album Blackout. Their first album, Blackout. Um, to be honest with you, I was really disappointed in this album. There's There are some good songs on it, but also at the same time, there's not so good songs on it. All right, and um, yeah, this is their this is their second album together, and uh, like I said, it's not bad, but unfortunately, in my opinion, it's a pretty disappointing album. But but at the same time, I'm glad that I have it in my collection. Okay, I got here Ghostface Killer, More Fish. This here is actually an album. This here was actually released shortly after his album Fish Scales, and these are actually the songs on these album on this album are songs that did not make it on on the original Fish Scales album. Okay, seventeen songs that did not make it make the 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 the, the Fish Scales album. This is a great album as well. All right, and I got here. Wu Tang Chamber Music. This is actually a concept album that RZA came out with, and uh, it's all produced by him. And uh, it has features of different members of the Wu Tang Clan, but also um, it has features with A Z, Sean Price, Havoc from Mob Deep, uh, M O P, and Cool G Rap. This is a crazy album. I love this album. And also I got here, this here is Eight Diagrams. This here was the comeback, the, was the Wu-Tang Clan comeback album. And unfortunately for a lot of Wu-Tang Clan fans, including myself, was very disappointed with this album. 
you know what I mean? But I still have it. And also, I got this over here. I got here Wu, the story of the Wu Tang Clan. And this CD here is actually the soundtrack to this movie over here, which I have right here, of the same title, Wu, the story of the Wu Tang Clan. This is basically a documentary that came out a while ago, a documentary about the group and how they started, their, where, where they came from, like the roots. Pretty much everything that you did not know about the Wu-Tang Clan is in this movie. If you're a Wu-Tang fan like I am and you have not seen this movie, you have to see it because it is unbelievable. Great movie. This movie is actually available on YouTube right now. So for all of you who have not seen this movie, check it out on search it on YouTube and watch it cuz it's great. It's a great movie. Okay. I got a few more to show you. And these Wu-Tang CDs that I'm going to show you are my favorite Wu-Tang CDs of all time. My favorite ones. Okay, that I pretty much listen to a lot. Alright? And we're going to start off. And this is one of my favorites. This here is their second group album that they came out with. Wu-Tang Forever. The double CD. This is an awesome album. This is a classic album. I love it and I listen to it still from this day. And of course... The album that started it all, of course, the Five Mike Source hip hop classic of all time. Enter the Wu Tang 36 Chambers. I can't, obviously, I'm not going to say much about it. You all know about this album. Classic. Period. Here we go with the Jizza, the Genius, Liquid Swords. This here is the Jizza's first solo album and it is crazy this is another one of my favorites Wu Massacre this is actually an album that came out a couple of years ago and it has and it has Ghostface it has Method Man and Raekwon the three of them together on this album this is also a concept album as well this is a crazy album as well another one of my favorites Method Man, and this is his debut album, To Cow. This is a crazy album, crazy from the beginning to end. Love Method Man. He's awesome. Ghostface Killer Fish Scales. This is another one of my favorites. This is one of my fav favorite Ghostface albums. This album is awesome from beginning to end. Crazy, amazing album. Another crazy one that I love, man, is Method Man and Red Man's first album together, Blackout. Awesome. You know, the Rottweiler, Tear the Roof Off, all those great songs that those two guys do. Awesome album. And, of course, the two definitive Ghostface classics are, of course, his first album, Iron Man. And his album, Supreme Clientele. These two albums are absolutely amazing and I love them. These are also two of my favorites. And last but certainly not least, Raekwon. And obviously, you're obviously going to know what I'm going to be showing. Cuban Links and Cuban Links 2. These two albums are, are, are hip-hop classics, and I love them. Okay? So there it is. That is my Wu-Tang Clan co uh, CD collection. And for all of you, if, if you like this video, comment down below. Take care, everybody. Peace.